Hello everyone, it's me, South Sea Dragon, here with another member of the Big Foods Committee today, Rishab Sigan. And I, for a little bit of a change, I'm going to be interviewing him today. So Thursdays, if we get support for this video and you guys think it's a good idea, then Thursdays could become like a Q&A day for like an extra video where we ask each other questions ask where you and you can even send in questions for the big foods committee to yeah. like answer. thursdays can be a day where we do q a we do another interview i'm gonna be interviewing interviewing saucy dragon next time or some other just like bonus videos exclusive day that's what it can be mm -hmm. and even though um cosmos cat as we said in the last video we were really hoping that he could be on this he wasn't available but i was able to put in a question by him that we'll be asking rishab a little later in the interview yeah so okay i'm ready Okay, that pretty much sums it up, and now let's get right in with our first question, number one. This is a rather simple one, but I think it's an important one, as you're the creator of the Big Foods. What is your favorite food on the Big Foods slideshow? On the slideshow. Yes, specifically on the slideshow. Uh, hmm. That's tough. There's so many great foods. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I know one, but I don't know if it's on the slash. I'm going to check quick. Don't worry, I'll just take me a sec. Okay, yeah, it's on there. Um, Thundari chicken. It's an Indian type of chicken. Like, it's, I think, roast. It's, um baked or roasted, whatever, in a tandoori, tandoori oven, which is like an Indian type of oven, and then dip it in like spices and stuff, and it's just really great. Cool, that's very interesting to note. Now, uh, running ahead a bit, number two, what is your favorite type of food to add? Like, is there a specific type, like it can be from a different culture, a different sort of like dessert, snack, whatever, like, I like section desserts. of food. I love adding desserts because there's so many. <laughs> I like adding desserts too. It's not, like, it's not just like because they're desserts. I mean, like desserts. It's just like there's so. This is really cool to see how different cultures interpret interpret the word dessert, the word sweet, mm -hmm. like thing that you can have after a meal. It's just really cool to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, number three, in your opinion, what's the best meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Um, lunch. Definitely lunch. It's like in the middle of the day, and it's kind of like separates from me, leaves my day in half. Before lunch and after lunch. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I agree with that one, too. So, number four, any plans for adding anything to the slideshow, to the website that you can share with us right now? Well, I mean, like, nothing specifically, but um, I did start something. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Yes, I'll see Dragon. The unlimited section. Basically, it's a pizza section. And there's like, there have to be it. millions of different configurations of pizzas and toppings. So, I mean, like, that's something I'm looking forward to adding really, really quite a bit. Wow, I can't wait to work on that. That sounds really fun. And that's on a slideshow? Yeah. Very cool. And next, number five, another more opinion piece. Um, in your opinion, what is the best part of the Big Foods website? The best section? Huh. Well, I have two answers. The best permanent section, in my opinion, is the forum. Because that's where you guys all talk together. And you guys, the community just bonds, I guess. But right now, I think the COVID relief is definitely the most important and best section right now. Right. But it's obviously right. it's not permanent because COVID isn't going to last forever, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number six. Um, so this is more on the topic of the fun food facts section that I started. What is, do you, what is the weirdest food fact that you know? It can be a fun food fact that you learned from my thing, or it can be something that you learned independently. Coolest fact. Ah, oh, okay.
Okay, so this I actually learned, um, you learned at the same time as me from our camp counselor. Doritos have bat poop in them. <laughs> wow. I, I, I was wondering for a split second what you were going to say about food from the camp counselor. But yeah, <laughs> that, that, that is a rather weird fact. Doritos um, have bat poop <laughs> Number seven, uh, do you have any big food stories that you like to share? They can be ones that you've said in other videos even, but just any big food stories? Um, well, uh, I, um, I have two. So first of all, okay. we tried doing a petition in my school because in our school, the cafeterias are these big TVs. We tried to make a petition to have the big food on the TVs for one day. But the teacher said wow. we don't have a system to make petitions right now. I'm suspicious because I wonder if she just doesn't want a slideshow that she's never seen before <laughs> up there. Um, the second thing is... Um, wait, so in like way back when the big food just started, um, it was like... Um, it was kind of... How do I say this? It was kind of something that everybody liked. And it was just like something that I started that was just growing. But then the funny thing is, I forgot about it for two years. Everybody else forgot about, for, forgot about it for two years. And now in middle school, the reaction is a lot different. Some people like it, some people hate it. Oh, it's just kind of a story, kind of funny. Wow, hidden secrets. I hadn't heard either of those stories. I like that. So, in particular, the first one. So, number eight. So, with the videos, like you said earlier in this video, um, you try to d give more exclusive content so it's not just the same stuff that we're piling up off the website. Is there any exclusive info that you could share with us? Well, I mentioned this in other videos, but the raffle. You should definitely check out the raffle. Um, I'll actually put it on the screen now. Boom! It's on the screen. Okay, now it's not on the screen anymore. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not editing it yet. But, um, something else is... Something, something else really right now, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, like, not really. Um, but, oh, here's something. I'm not sure if we've said this before. Um... We don't, well, actually we have, but our goal is to hit a thousand by the end of the school year, which is June 10th for me, which is what we're doing. Well, I guess that's a bit of exclusive, not really exclusive. I can't really think of anything. I mean, like, there's nothing really right now. As a look into our schedule, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, this is a little hypothetical for you. I have no idea how you'll answer, but what? Number nine, what if cheese was permanently banned? How would you react? What would you do? <laughs> if, if, if cheese was permanently banned, is it all forms of cheese? Like string cheese, pizza? Yes, anything. Yep, anything that has cheese in it. Cheese, cheesy cheese, anything with cheese. Shock. Like, why? Why are you getting rid of cheese? I mean, like, um, just why? <laughs> and then second, just like, um, confliction. Because, A, cheese and pizza, burgers, and a lot of other junk that makes it taste a lot better. Confliction one, I like that stuff. I want it. <laughs> other, it's not good for you. So, I mean, like, just shock, anger, I guess. Like, why are you taking cheese? <laughs> cheese does nothing to anybody. That's it. That's a it's a fun question. You guys should and you guys try to answer it yourself. Try to answer all these questions yourself. Like write down your answer on a sheet of paper. Okay, okay. And we're moving on number 10. Um so this is do we have any comments of food related questions or stuff like that from Cosmos Cat and I will answer that indeed we do. So when I asked him if he had any questions, the immediate answer that he gave me was why. And I was wondering <laughs> what he meant by that. Like, why? So 
why was the big foods started like i know there's you ha you have the story about the big foods was started but any like why was the big foods started just like why are you making a slideshow with a bunch of different foods uh -huh, you were i i know you were inspired by that story with the in case you haven't heard so uh, a bunch of high schoolers came to rishab's school in third grade by the way i hope i'm getting the details right but if, if i'm not you can go back and watch our previous video it includes the story at the end um so in third grade a bunch of high schoolers went to rishab's school and they all paired off with one of the third graders at the time Rashab was in third grade and so the high schooler who Rashab was paired off with had a really cool story to tell and Rashab he from what I remember he doesn't exactly recollect uh what the whole story was but it had to do with big foods and like big cheese and floating around I think Actually, and yeah but wait, first of all, for all of you people who aren't as, um, let's just say, n knowledgeable in the English language as South Sea Dragon, paired up beads getting paired with another person. Second of all, there was no, it wasn't big food, it just, there was a, something to do with the flying cheese. And then <laughs> I put the big cheese on a slideshow, and like, like as a joke, it's like, is this what it looks like? Just kind of to be funny. And then I started adding a bunch of other things. So. And also just quick thing from what I said about the last question. If you guys do answer all these questions and write your answers down on a sheet of paper, you can put like one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. And you can like take a picture and maybe post in the forum. That'd be cool to see. Mm -hmm. But then why do you think, I don't know if you'll remember, but why do you think that you decided to do it in slideshow format or like, put the big or even what was your inspiration for continuing to do it after you showed him the big cheese well i mean like i just thought okay we have cheese why not add more and then putting the big in slideshow well the big just makes it sound funnier the big or cool like, <laughs> the big like who, like okay look cheese versus the big cheese but um also slideshow form well in third grade especially i mean like just the easiest to be honest so yeah. I know it just seems like kind of the obvious thing to do. It's the easiest way to make something like this. And by the way, just a little intermission, I guess. You can find the Big Food slideshow if you're interested. You can go to bigfoods.com and i think that's it and you can in the home page if you scroll to the very bottom there is a link to the slideshow before you go to the slideshow though you should make yourself an account and you'll be able to peruse the website and find some cool things and so yeah the slideshow is available for all to see as soon as you get yourself into the bigfoods.com so now um number oh, 11 wait, wait, wait. i wait wait wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. Okay. um exclusive kind of thing, I guess. Little trick, um, the logo on the website, thebigfoods.com, click it and it takes you to the big foods. So like a hidden yep, that's thing. another cool way to get there. So the logo is at the very tippity top of the website page. Uh -huh. um, so number 11, um, so I know you've talked about this briefly in other videos, but could you maybe um explains a bit because you were saying how good the forum and all that was could you maybe explain a bit how the forum rules work the rules of the forum um well rules of the forum are nope no stupid stuff no asking to be admins or editors no dumb stuff like make me the most follow no swearing no inappropriate stuff you will be deleted and banned if you do any of these things. Um, it's really just a place of like cool questions. Like we have some questions like, um, what's your favorite video game? Riddle of the week. For you to ask questions to us, like somebody asked, um, how do you get to the slideshow? And I think Saucy Dragon answered in like under an hour. And we yep. try to answer as best as we can. We're in school. We're in school. I mean, like we don't have time all the time. Um, but like, yeah. So the forums is a place where you guys to talk to each other, talk to us. Just like a cool thing.
Yep. So now 12, it's a slightly more serious thing that we've definitely talked about before. Um, and it's about COVID donations. So I know you said something about that earlier in the video, but could you elaborate a bit? Well, on our page, you'll see a section in the top that says, um, on the video, it says um, the big donations. That is actually to not to donate to us, but to donate to COVID-19 relief. Um, that's why I said it's not going to be there permanently, because when COVID ends, we're going to take it down. But we are too young to have PayPal accounts, so that will take you to the CDC Foundation donation page. And you can also click another thing that says read more about the CDC, and you could go to their website. You can research them. They're a trustworthy foundation. It's the CDC, for God's sake. <laughs> but yeah, please donate 10 bucks. You can save someone's life. You never know. Just donate, they really help. Um, there are countries suffering horribly right now, India specifically. So, yeah. Right, right. And I agree, it's a super important thing to donate to if you have the time and the money. And yeah. So, 13, um, do you have any extra thoughts on the fun food facts? Like, any comments to add about it? I know you were talking about some fun facts that you heard from camp, but do you have any thoughts about the fun food facts that we have on the website currently that we've been posting? It is super, super, super interesting. Like, I've learned stuff about there that I didn't know. Food is deep, man. <laughs> there needs to be a lot of depth to food. Like, why the heck was, at one point, why the heck are multiple types of cheeses banned in North America? It is, it's a lot of interesting stuff. It's weekly updates, I mean, like, there's a recipe, like, it's just cool. It's just kind of like something where if you're bored, you can just go check out, read for, like, five minutes, and you never know, you might learn a thing or two. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's super cool. I do these every week on Tuesdays, usually, if I can fit the time in, which I almost always can, because it's super fun, even just for me, to make these sorts of things. Like, I don't know all of these things beforehand. I go up in Google, and I find this stuff out. And the coolest facts that I find most remarkable, I put onto the fun food facts. But once you're done reading the fun food facts, you can even go on to Google yourself and maybe learn some more about the fun food facts because there's some stuff that I didn't put on there. And it's just super cool to research and learn about those sorts of things. And on the topic of Google, also, um, we have, though I mentioned using Google search for the fun food facts, we don't this is just a little rule that you can find on the uh, homepage. We use no Google search for our for when we're creating the slideshow. No and Google. Stuff. So if you are uh, if you're making a oh, this is another thing. So in case you don't know, I didn't want to go off into that yet. So in case you don't know what the forms are, you can put in a form to us um, to give us ideas for foods or things that we can add to the website or things that we can improve in general. And it's super helpful. We always say this, but it'll help so much if you just put in a little bit of extra time, like we said earlier with the donations. And yeah, so it no Google search for that in general. You shouldn't you you shouldn't search up the things for the forms. But if you've checked it that it's not on the big food slideshow and you have a cool idea for a new food that we can add, or if you have some idea like how that's how we added the forums, that's how we added the uh the big credits. Um we get a lot of our ideas from you, the community. So super helpful. Keep on doing what you're doing. And so number 14 is, do you, guys, do you by any chance have some ideas for next videos? Like they can be Q&A videos or even the next standard Wednesday video? Well, I mean, like, of course we're going to do a weekly update video. But um, on a certain June 5th, uh, we might do a eating contest. Possibly. Don't. Don't be expecting this for certain, <laughs> but we may or may not do a eating contest where we have the all four members of the committee competing in an eating contest where we all try to eat food, I guess, and like where we eat the fastest. 
that makes the most one of the two i don't know i'm going to figure it out people but something like that and yeah okie dokie so next 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 number 15 do you have any life lessons for the people watching today life lessons <laughs> yes one. We're getting check out now. the big foods every day no, i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> um life lessons so you should do that yeah you should dishonesty no 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 never be dishonest dishonesty is horrible it is the worst thing you can do to yourself and the people who love you um i mean like i'd be like i feel i feel like that's that's the most important life lesson in my opinion dishonesty is a big big no no stealing no lying no nothing be an honest, hardworking person, and you'll get farther than any criminal ever could. Good advice. So now we're getting up there in the numbers. Number 16, you, towards a while back in the video, we were talking about the raffle. And so could you talk a little bit about the raffle? Like, let's talk about the raffle. The raffle, the raffle. The raffle, I mean, like, we're going to do this raffle for 20 bucks. <laughs> raffle, raffle. $20 raffle. Um, so, well, okay, first of all, um, the raffle is for $20. We'll randomly select somebody out of the people who sign up. And then on June 1st, we will pick it. For now, it's a YouTube exclusive thing. But for the last three days, I'm going to put it on the website for people to see. Um, last uh, three days only. Actually, let's make it two days. Last two days only will it be available on the website. For now, it's exclusive for YouTube only. And, um, I'll put the link one more time. There you go. Um, so go down there, sign up. You're selected on June 1st, and you win, you get 20 bucks. Just kind of cool. Okay, number 17. We're definitely getting up there now. Um, extra events, announcements, announcements, etc. So do you have any plans, any cool things that you could say that, like, it doesn't have to be now, but things that you could even do throughout the year that, like, plans, any, any stuff, really? Um, I mean, like, not really. Um... Plans, well, I already told you. I mean, like, we're going to be doing a big eating contest. Maybe, maybe, don't, don't, don't be expecting that for certain. But maybe a big eating contest. Definitely do more interviews with um, different members of the committee. We might do, like, some fun question thing um, where we have all the members of the committee. And we, um, uh, like, we'll have, like, three members of the committee and one other member will be asking questions. And to all the That'd be cool. People. Yeah, right? Just, like, some kind of cool stuff more involving the rest of the committee, because all I've really seen right now is me, Sassy Dragon. But mm -hmm. we're trying to round the others up. Come on. We're trying to round them up. Mm, yep. And I know we keep saying this, but hopefully, 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 you guys, you guys have to hope with us. So we may see Cosmos Cat next episode. And we're really going to hope this. We're going to try to round him up like Rishab said. And we'll almost definitely at least see him for the Thursday interview if all goes as planned. Uh, and you guys like the Thursday interview idea. I bet. <laughs> Sussy Dragon. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rounding up people without a pair of scissors. <laughs> you start doing it a bit forcefully. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hopefully, 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 with scissors in your hands. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, no blackmailing, no violent threatening is going on here. No violence. Okay, yeah. And so that about wraps up the questions that we have for Rashab today. If, like we said multiple times throughout the video, um, you can... First of all, donate and also fill out a form to help us. Uh, and 
you can also show your support to this series if you want us to see more like that by uh, just saying that you want some some more of this. You can subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video and all that. Uh, I'm not sure how all of this works, but you can also, I think, send us the send us some questions too if you want to do it in comments, or you can also post it in the Big Foods forum on the website, which would be really cool. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, thank so, you for watching. You heard him. Oh. Like and subscribe will be very helpful. Um, I'm gonna link the website in the description. The raffle. In the description, because you already told, you can already see um, where the raffle link is on the screen. Um, but um, it's link, it's a raffle website's gonna be in the description. I'll even throw the link to the big foods down in the description. If you can't click them, you can like copy them and paste them in your browser. But yeah, check out thebigfoods.com. Check out the big foods. Send us some forms. Participate. Make an account and all that crap. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.